second page at the bottom, we want to make sure that, that whoever reads this, and, and I might also point out that why another organization? Well, everybody understands that, well, California has three dairy producer groups, and just about every state has at least one. And I'm a member, for example, in, in uh, New Mexico. We have our New Mexico dairy producers. But, but they, they represent producers within their state. There has never been a national producer group. This is the first, and, and frankly, in my opinion, it's made up of the, some of the strongest uh, uh, individuals to, to help change this industry. Plenty of experience at grassroots level. So, it, quickly going through the, the 20 issues, and then we'll compare and contrast with National Mill. The National Dairy Producers Organization supports working with any and all organizations throughout the country who truly demonstrate a concern for and the will to restore and maintain dairy producer profitability. Now, as I say, right now, there's essentially one bill being proposed, and the only other thing that's being proposed or worked on is the Tom Bilsack, Secretary Bilsack's advisory committee. And some of the feedback that, that we see from time to time is the majority of the National Milk's plan, Foundation for the Future, is what Bilsack is, is planning to, uh, Bilsack's committee is gonna recommend to Tom Bilsack for recommendations for the 2012 Farm Bill. So we just about do not have an alternative to the uh, National Milk's Foundation for the Future. So we're willing to work with them. We're hoping that National, Bil uh, National Milk Producers Federation coming out with their bill has heard our issues, has listened, and will respond. But we're going to keep a skeptical eye out because we cannot allow our system, our, our, our uh, uh, milk pricing system to exist in its current form. So number two, it's on the third page. The National Dairy Producers Organization will work to establish and or assist establishment of a national supply management program. Now I might point out that we didn't create a national <coughs> supply management. There are plenty of folks who do not want to be, have their hands tied in supply management. I personally feel that there is responsibility. If you want a higher price, then we cannot put more milk into the system than what the system can absorb profitably. <clears throat> and as the previous speaker, a comment that I made was, was okay, fine. Uh, the world is hungry and they need food. And it's fine that we produce the food the world needs as long as the word profitable is in front of export. Profitable exports. Exports are where our surplus uh, usually ends up uh, at considerably discounted prices to compete with world prices and that results right back in a at least a two dollar a hundred weight decline in all of our milk prices across the country. So um, establishment of a national supply management program in our opinion uh, is, is essential for for proper marketing and for everything that we've learned in marketing and economics in college. Uh, and, and again, it, when you have rice quotas, when you have uh, coffee, um, uh, and, and every time I go through these, I think of a few more, uh, sugar, tobacco, I mean, there are so many ag products out there that already have these kinds of quotas on them. Even the oranges that we talked about freezing, if they don't need them to put it in the, to sustain a certain price in the market, they don't pick them. They just drop to the ground. So why are we so far behind in getting that concept across to our member or to our producers across the country so and again along with the higher milk price goes the discipline of what the market needs to get us that price <clears throat> national dairy producers Organiz organization supports the overhaul of a price discovery to better reflect the true value of the milk price uh, milk value to the farm <clears throat> This is probably clo getting close to the 30th presentation I've made in the last 18 to 24 months. And I constantly talk about it. I did at this same podium last year. Less than one half of 1% of our milk in this country 
goes through the CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, in the, the Cheese Exchange, a few minutes every week by those who are controlling the price with which cheese is, is bought and, and sold at. And those are the folks who want a low price for, uh, for their cheese. But that one half of one percent becomes the basis of the price of a hundred percent of the milk we produce. Our number three item is a change in the way that's done. 